Good Friday morning, Calvary. Today is indeed Friday, January the 29th. Let us begin again in the invocation. We make our beginning in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Again, as we review this week, sent to serve, I'm sure that you've had opportunities to serve. And perhaps at times we have forsaken those opportunities. On Monday again, we looked at Jesus sent, from, sent by God to serve, to serve and give his very life for us. On Tuesday, we again looked at God's calling of pastors and teachers to serve us, to teach us, to instruct us in his word. On Wednesday, we talked about serving as a body, a body of Christ, each one of us with individual gifts and talents and abilities in which to use in God's service. Yesterday, on Thursday, we talked about serving within our homes and within the community as living witnesses and the testimony of our love of God to serve others. And today, we're going to broaden that to the ends of the earth, to the world. Our theme verse for today is a familiar parable that Jesus taught, the Good Samaritan. We will start with the Samaritan's response to serve. The Gospel of Luke, chapter 10, verse 33 and following. A Samaritan, as he traveled, came where the man was, and when he saw him, he took pity on him. He went to him and bandaged his wounds, pouring on oil and wine. Then he put the man on his own donkey, took him to an inn, and took care of him. The next day he took out two silver coins and gave them to the innkeeper. Look after him, he said, and when I return, I will reimburse you for any extra expense you may have. Which one of these three do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hand of robbers, Jesus asked. The expert in the law replied, the one who had mercy on him. Jesus told him, go and do likewise. Here ends our reading. Go and do likewise. For those of you in 6th, 7th, and 8th grade, you know that a word is missing in the subject there, an imperative. You go. God, Jesus equips us to go and to serve. We don't do it on our own merit. We don't do it on our own strength. We do it on God's love through the power of the Holy Spirit and faith. And God has a plan for each of us. He is preparing us for acts of service. We may never know to what ends of the earth we will go here today, tomorrow, 20, 30 years from now. But God does, and he's a building us each and every day, equipping us to serve others. Satan also tries to get in there and create doubt in our hearts, to create doubts and say, oh, you're better than them, you don't need to serve them. Sometimes we might find it difficult to serve others, and perhaps we've even neglected to serve others because of that. God calls us to love all people. The Samaritan loved the man who was beaten, he cared for him, and he provided for his needs. In the same way as God provides for us through his love by sending Jesus on the cross, we are to share that message of hope, of peace, and love, and joy with those that we meet. And we can do that through service. This week, we raised money for Camp Lakeview to build a cabin. We thank the Lord for those that provided and gave for that to be accomplished. We ask the Lord to continue to work in each of us the joy of service as we put Jesus first in our life, others, and then ourselves. We rejoice in the fact that this Lutheran Schools Week has given us an opportunity to celebrate and to share that love one with another. We pray. Jesus, may we always honor and serve you as our King. Thank you for making us part of your kingdom forever by being the king who came to die on the cross. Amen. Have a great day.